Did you know that you don't need any CSS to make your form look exactly the way that you want it? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the landing page for the free CSS form generator. Now, the best thing about JotForm is all of the drag and drop elements that makes creating a form so easy. So let's go ahead, dive in, and we're gonna choose the Create Form button. Now, as you can see, we have over 10,000 ready-made templates ready to go. And the great thing about this too is they're already broken up by category, by profession. Over on the left-hand side, you can see we have different types. You can even choose the different form layouts if you prefer classic or card form. And then come down here, we have industries, professions, and languages. Now, if you know exactly what you're looking for, you can always utilize the search option right up here. But for this example, I'm actually gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna head up to the top, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my forms and I'm gonna choose the orange create form button. And again, we're gonna start from scratch. And for this example, we're going to use the classic form. And as you can see right here, it says drag your first question here from the left. So we have add form elements right over here and we have the basic ones all lined up for you. So we have full name, email, phone number. We even have you know, short text, long text, maybe you would like to add in some copy, you can choose the paragraph option. We have single choice, multiple choice. We have the ability to allow your users to upload files. You can even collect signatures as well, but it doesn't stop there. If we head back up to the top, we see we have payments. So if you would like to collect payments from your users, you can do that really easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a square option for this. And you can see it populated over on the right hand side. This is going to be where all of the integrations take place. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my Square account. And right down here under payment type, we can choose how we would like to collect money. The first option is going to be to sell products. So if that is going to be what you want to do, we can come right here and choose add products and you can add as many products as you would like. We can also sell subscriptions. We can do user defined amount and we can even collect donations. I'm gonna go ahead and choose donations for this example. And we can also turn on Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Cash App Pay as well. Now, since we're gonna be choosing donations, I'm gonna come back over here and change this to be donate now instead of my products, perfect. And if for any reason, maybe you say, you know what, I don't want to use Square. I wanna change it to something else. All we need to do is back over on the left-hand side where we chose Square, we can choose these three dots and switch to another payment gateway. Now, not only do we have all of those basic elements that you're going to need and the payment integrations, we also have a ton of different widgets to choose from. Right over here, you can see we can do form calculations. This is a really popular one from a lot of our users. We have PDF in better. We have configurable lists, signatures, lots of different options to make your forms as robust as you need them to be. Now let's go ahead, jump out of the form elements and let's go over on the right hand side. We're gonna choose the form designer. Now this is where you can change your page color, your form color, the font color. You can make this fit exactly you and your brand. Now we can jump over to styles. We can change the width. We can change where the label alignment is. We can change the font. We can change the button style. So right down here right now, it is green. Maybe we want it to be blue. Maybe we want it to be a gradient or maybe we want it to be an image. You can make this fit exactly how you want it to be. Now we also have some different themes. So if you want to change the overall look, you can do that. And we can also change the layout. Right now, again, we're on the classic form. If you prefer to be card format to where one question per card, you can do that here. Now it doesn't stop there. If we head up to the top and we head over to settings, there's even more things that we can do. Over on the left-hand side, we can edit our email responders. We can set up conditional logic to where maybe a specific question is hidden or shows based on a previous response. Conditional logic is honestly one of my favorite things about JotForm. We can even edit our thank you page. Right now it's showing a thank you page, but maybe when someone chooses that submit button, maybe it's gonna go to an external link, maybe a space where people People can learn more about you and your company. Again, on the left, we have integrations. If you're looking for that automation in your business, utilizing integrations is going to help with that. We can integrate with Google Drive, with Zapier. There's lots of different things that we can do within 
integrations. Next up, we have approval flow. So maybe multiple people need to agree whether or not something goes through. We also have Jotform sign and we can even customize our mobile notifications. Now up in the publish option, we have even more things that you can utilize. Again, no coding necessary on your part. So we can see here that we can share this link like this, or maybe we wanna edit it. Maybe we want it to look like something different. We can invite by email, we can share on our favorite social platform. We can even turn this form into an app, a no code app. Now over on the left hand side, if you have a website or maybe someplace that you would like to embed this in, JotForm is gonna give you some really easy copy paste codes that you can utilize to add your form to your website. Now, maybe you want to assign this form. Maybe someone needs to fill it out on a recurring basis. You can assign that form. We can edit what the emails look like, the emails that you get as the form creator, as well as the emails that your users get once they fill out their form. You can even pre-fill all with no coding on your part. If you know that someone's gonna be filling out your form, you can automatically have it pre-filled for them. We have downloadable PDFs of their submission data, and you can also use our platforms, the third-party published platforms. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm as a no-code form generator, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.